Kenny and Nicole, there are so many families who are dealing with this. They have mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, or spouses whose lives are completely out of control and they don't know what to do. Well, tonight, there's reason for hope. Lauren Winfrey takes life one day at a time, but it hasn't always been this way. I just thought that I was so alone and that no one understood. Lauren was in the depths of despair, addicted to opioids. I would probably take one every two hours. The former cheerleader in straight-A student's life quickly spiraled out of control. And I just lost all morals and integrity. Lauren did things she never imagined to get money for drugs. One time, I stole my grandmother's rings and pawned them. And when that money ran out, she started stripping to get by. I felt like I had no soul. Her Church mom, Jackie, no, feared for Lauren's out. life. You know, there were times that I did nothing but cry and pray all night, hoping that she would live through to the next day. It was at times unbearable. It puts a strain on your marriage. It puts a strain on your friends. They don't know how to react. Um, it's very lonely. One day, though, her fear turned to joy when Lauren checked into a treatment facility. How do you not give up hope? If I'd given up on her, she wouldn't be here. I don't know how any parent can give up on a child. Lauren has now been in recovery for two and a half years, is planning her wedding, and is on the honor roll at Guilford Tech. Her mom couldn't be more proud. She's the girl that I always knew she could be, but she's a better girl than I had imagined. Lauren is so thankful her family stood by her. I get, I get emotional just because it makes me grateful to have gone through everything that I went through because the gratitude that I have today, because one, I know I shouldn't be alive. Lauren is also working at a rehab facility. She says it's a daily reminder of where she's been and just how far she's come.